What's going on again, YouTube? I got my DPMS A15 here. As you can see, DPMS A15 caliber multi, which means I can shoot both 5.56 and 2.23 through this. Yep. Five five six and two two three. Today I'm gonna be doing a little video. I'm gonna upgrade the charger handle latch. We're we'll putting this MFT Evolve series oversized charger handle latch. I'm gonna be installing it today. Yeah, but I did a couple upgrades to it, and I didn't put those on camera. But from that here on out, I will be putting all my upgrades on camera. So far, I'm going to talk about the current upgrades I got. And before we get started, I'm going to make sure I do a safety check. I know it is clear, but I'm going to show you that it's clear. Take the mag out. And I do have a yep, Gen 3 P mag. As you can see. Chamber is clear. And I'm gonna go ahead and decock it. I found that if I pull the bolt carry group back a little bit via the charger handle, that I can push that, I can pull the trigger and let the bolt, I mean let the uh, hammer ride forward on the bolt without completely dry firing it. First thing I got, let me see, what was the first thing I did? First thing I did, I put this quad rail on. This little cheap quad rail, I picked up in a local gun store. It didn't even have a name brand on it. I don't know if you can see, but it came in a little white box over here. I put that quad rail on it. Then I put this foregrip on it, five position. As you can see, it worked okay. It got a little wiggle room and it's not loose or anything. It's just how it is for some reason. I like it though, it's all right. It get the job done. Then what did I put? Uh, then I ordered these backup sights, as you can see. They spring loaded. They flip up. I ordered those backup sights. I put those on. And when I ordered those backup sights, I also ordered these uh, Picatinny rail slot covers or covers, whatever you want to call them. It came in a set. I ordered them off Amazon. If anybody want to know about it, I'll try to find it. But, you know, just leave me a comment. I'll try to find it. Put a link in the description. It came with, like, 12 of these. These came right here, you know. It just snapped off. Came with, like, 12 of those. It's kind of hard to get back on. Like, literally, since I put them on, I had to take them off. And I kind of like that rounded grip feel on the bottom of it. And then I just got these right here on the top and on the sides. And, and this one right here wasn't quite long enough. So I just cut it and made it fit and left a little room for what it had, where that sight had to lay down there right there. Then I also I put a quick. Oops. Good thing it's shock proof and waterproof and fireproof. So it didn't knock it off. In theory, it is. But you can see on the top, it says, you know, shockproof, waterproof, fireproof. But I got this little BSA red, blue, you know, red, green, blue dot sight. And I just put it on a little pick tin mount, uh, quick release riser. I think it's a one, I think it's a one third inch riser. I think, I'm not sure. If you need to know, I can find out. And I put that on there. And then that way, my backup sights will co-witness with my red dot. But today, I'm going to be doing the charging handle. So y'all already made sure the weapon was clear. Just going to take it. I'm going to pull out the charging handle and the bolt. I'm going to go ahead and take the bolt out. Just sit that to the side. Pull the charging handle out a little bit. Then it drops down those two. Uh, indentations or 
raised points on the charger handle, fitting a little groove up here, and just drops out. Now I'm gonna close the weapon up. Lock the upper back to the lower. And then I'm gonna proceed with this. I haven't tried it yet. All that I did was try to take out the little roll pin. Get a little roll pin or whatever you wanna call it, a little pin in there. That's all I've tried to take out yet. And all the only thing I did was really, because I don't have my punches with me, can't find them. So really, I just use this little nail I got. Now I'm going to attach this. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to move the camera around. And I'm just going to use this uh, little shell holder that uh, I got out of a box of 223 that I got. I'm just going to line it up over one of these holes so when I want to knock it through, it'll catch it. Take my little hammer. Simple as that. You see that's all these. I'm gonna take that, put a little tension on it, pull it out, and it is a spring here, you all. So be careful when you do that. Because there is a spring here. The best advice I can give, and this spring has a little slot that it sits in the best advice. The best advice I can give was to do it how I just did was retain some pressure on it. And then once you pull out whatever it is you're holding, use it to hold it. Once you pull it out. While I still retain the pressure on it, just let it come on out. Now I'm gonna take this and open it up. Get my little trusty knife out. My little cobalt knife, I got it from my granddad. I had it for a while. He stopped doing carpentry work, so he didn't need it anymore. So, let's open it up. Don't cut it right off the top. so just put the nail in there like so just to hold it in place probably a good idea to put a little a little gun grease on that spring but I ain't gonna do it right now I haven't even cleaned this AR since I had it I had it about six months seven months something like that probably a little less maybe a little more still haven't cleaned it still runs good I'm gonna do a cleaning one day but as you can see and I've been running you know cheap ammo Good ammo and cheap ammo. It's a little dirty, but hey. So, I got that in. I'm going to wiggle it around so I can pull my little nail out just a little bit. All right, got my nail out a little bit. And then I'm just going to sit this off in there. Try to anyway. I'm just gonna use the table that the table that I'm on, I'm just gonna push through. I'm gonna try to uh, try to push that through and work that nail out. Oh, didn't get it. Try left nail, see if I can do it. Oh, I don't want to Yeah, I'm gonna use the nail. Sometimes be good you have three hands. I'm gonna do it this thing. Get everything lined up just right. I 
get it right the first time. No problem. Now I get it right problems. Just a little bit like before. Just a little. Let it catch on. Get it started. Mess it up again. So what do you do? Pretty sure it might be a simpler way to do this, but I don't know that way. And this is my first time ever doing it, so I'm lying. This is most of you all that are watching this video probably are. Most of you. See if I can tap it through. I don't know if y'all can see this. Thing. Yep, that was the best way to do it. To leave the, my nail slash guy rod in and just tap it on through. Then I'm going to take my hammer and tap it down a little bit to make it flush. Then I'm going to take this because it actually sits a little deeper off in there than flush. I'm just gonna tap it, take that nail and tap in a little bit and visually inspect it. It can come up a little more like a literally a hair. Just take it and tap in a little more to see it in. Look at it on both sides, it look pretty good. I'm gonna give it one more tap just to be well, tap it in a little farther just to be sure. It looks good on both sides now. Yep, looks good on both sides. I know this video is a little long, but hey, we will learn. Now I'm going to take it. Hold the camera. It doesn't seem to be latching all the way. Like it's in place, but it's, I don't know. I figured out a minute. I don't know if the boat not going all the way forward or what. But when I, I rack the slide and slam it, it pops back into place. So if I just lightly do it, just lightly pull back on the charger handle, it don't lock in place. But it's off right now. I'm gonna put my old charger handle up just in case I have a problem with that. 
Not charging handle, charging handle latch. Keep saying it. But thank y'all.